Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's the Earth Master back here on this Friday night. Party night? Hopefully not. I'm going to go to bed somewhat early tonight. Uh, March 24th, 2023. It's about 10.23 p.m. here along the West Coast in California. And the latest earthquake shows a 1.8 out here. Uh, as well as a 1.4, oh, 1 1.0 it looks like, into California. Earthquakes all over the place popping up right now. Uh, also, severe weather ramping up. Uh, goodness, I've seen some crazy stuff down there into the, um, well, Mississippi area. I've seen some damaging earthquakes. Uh, I do want to give a shout out here to this fellow YouTuber. A lot of folks do know this guy. Um... A lot of folks like him, a lot of folks hate him. But regardless, this man right here has generated $100,000, over $100,000. And this was about 10 minutes, or so, 10 minutes or ago, 10 minutes ago or so. I'm sure it's well over 115000 now. Um, for the victims down there in the tornado area of Mississippi, some uh, crazy weather going on down there but again spring is kicking back up as a lot of the folks know and um i've seen some images not going to go too much on the damages here on this channel but i want to give a shout out here to ryan hall y'all um he is an excellent youtuber that has uh, generated quite a bit of audience in terms of uh his weather reporting out here um for the uh for the severe weather that takes place here in the south and uh, also helping give back to the community and those folks that uh, have been um, affected by tornadoes so i did my part in donating here um, to the cause there's many different ways that you can donate as well but since i do most of my business here on youtube i tend to keep most of my transactions and donations here onto the youtube platform so if you can Get out there and donate to the cause. Ryan Hall, y'all, is the channel. Uh, a lot of folks do know him. And um, that's uh, quite the number of uh, donations there uh, to help support the victims of the um, tornado areas tonight. Pretty crazy stuff going on. All right. Earthquake activity. Looking at the last 24 hours of earthquake movement out here well i tell you what it's a lot quieter tonight right look at that not a whole lot of troublesome areas out here across the region um, up into the alaska area we got uh, a few earthquakes up there around denali southward through the cook inlet area also along the aleutian trench over here around the tanaga in the takawanga volcano most of the earthquake swarming confined here in between the two and it's been kind of consistent like that over the last couple days uh the last 30 days of earthquake activity out here around these volcanoes quite the number check this out 2305 earthquakes pretty good swarm of earthquake activity out here no doubt uh, but if you look at the centered location here it's roughly within the center of these two volcanoes the tanaga volcano and the takawanga volcano here to the uh, east that's where that swarming activity is occurring. No major adjustments as far as any eruptive stages going on there across those vo volcanoes for now. The uh, Hawaiian Islands here. Big Island showing a uh, little bit of activity across the Pahala area. Also up here around Mauna Loa. Although things have drastically dropped off from that earthquake swarm here with only uh, a 2.0 showing up this morning. Um, continue to watch that. And see how that plays out. Because uh, that earthquake activity kind of ramped up out of the blue. Uh, but also it died down pretty quickly. Alright, Southern California. A little spotty activity here. Again, outside of the Borrego Springs. Looks like this earthquake activity halted earlier this afternoon. This is on a portion of the Elsinore Fault Zone. It's the uh, Julian section. Or Julian, whichever one you want to uh, pick there. A little bit of activity up here around the Rancho Cucamonga area. That's uh, off of the San Andreas Fault as well, 1.1. No major adjustment going on here across the plate boundary for now, but eventually that will change, no doubt. The rest of California, a little spotty activity throughout the region, but nothing spectacular 
uh, to chat about there in that uh, aspect. Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, and Mount Hood. A little spotty activity across the region today. Aside from that, uh, things pretty quiet there in the Pacific Northwest. The trimmer map here. Let's see what we got going on here for the Cascadia trimmer. 33 epicenters of trimmer outside of the Seattle area. Into the, uh, well, this kind of looks like it's right across the Seattle Fault, uh, which runs right here. Notice that, the Seattle Fault Zone. So we're getting some trimmer activity well below this region um, that could be having a part as to why we're seeing a little bit of uptick here across the Cascades and areas around Seattle. And we'll continue to watch that. Uh, out into the Southern Plains area, mostly uh, some small microquake activity. Not a whole lot going on through the rest of the country aside from severe weather, which is goodness. We'll cover that here in just a little bit. We'll take a look at that uh, uh, activity here at the end of this update uh, around the Caribbean plate. Got a little bit of activity here. South, uh, 3.5 into the, uh, well, it's 10 kilometers deep, relatively shallow here outside of Kingston area, the St. Vincent Passage region. Uh, this area is known for some rather large earthquakes. There's a major subduction zone that sits off here to the east. Uh, but for now, a little small earthquake activity. South America, relatively quiet. Look at the earthquake 3D globe here. Show some twos and threes across the region today. Also a 4.0 here into the northern end of the Middle America Trench. Not showing up here on the USGS map, but that is a, um, a newer earthquake. Uh, that's coming in here within the last couple hours. The uh, New Zealand area, not a whole lot popping up here. Nothing showing up here on the USGS map. We do have some activity up north with uh, some deep movement quakes here. A 4.4, almost 500 kilometers deep. Uh, a little bit of prior activity this morning with a 5.6. Uh, we'll give a quick glance here at the GeoNet servers for New Zealand. And uh, we'll see what's going on here. Looks like an hour ago, 2.5, just outside of Wellington here. 15 kilometers west of Castle Point, North Island, New Zealand. A 2.5. Doesn't look like there's anything major popping up here. Let me check out the earthquake drums here real quick. And get a visual of the earthquake activity. That was from earlier this morning. Although it looks like things have calmed down here uh, this evening. There's not a whole lot of activity popping up across the uh, earthquake drums. All right, uh, Papua New Guinea, Indonesia area, Java Trench. A little bit of uptick and movement across the region here today. Mostly twos and threes across the general area. Hard, hard to believe, though. This is the last 24 hours of earthquake activity. Goodness. I keep looking at the uh, earthquake... Uh, little divider over here. Uh, this is going to be the uh, the amount of earthquakes that are applied to the globe. And uh, sure enough, it's the last 24 hours, but nothing. Goodness, nothing really showing up here. We do have one earthquake here. Uh, let's see, that was much earlier. A 4.7 there off the coast of Japan. Uh, let's see what's going on here. It's not showing up here on the earthquake 3D globe, so maybe we're just barely under that threshold. Yeah. Let me see here. I don't know. It's kind of weird not showing up there. Don't want to go too far back because then we'll start overloading this globe here with uh, earthquake activity. I mean, really, how, how far back can I can I go? All right. Well, it's not showing up, so I'm not going to overload it. But uh, generally quiet across this northwestern corner of the Pacific Plate the northern end of the uh, Java Trench, Myanmar area, Himalayas, all awfully quiet. Turkey area and areas around the Middle East, seen some twos and threes. No unusual activity to report there across that region for now. So it's it's been it's been kind of a quiet day, folks, in terms of earthquake activity. If you really look at the map here, there's not a whole lot going on. 4.4 uh, Turkey area coming in in the last hour. Seismic activity has been known to pause before we see, uh, you know, a really amplification of the uptick in earthquake activity. It does happen this way, so we'll continue to watch this overnight. Um, there's really no major specific areas to watch right now because 
uh, it's all fairly quiet with minimal swarming um, across the regions. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, pretty quiet. Super volcano up in Wyoming. Not a whole lot of activity to report there. Uh, space weather activity, a lot quieter tonight compared to last night. Goodness. Seen a uh, G4 class storm. KP index up around the 8 level. It was reached here uh, into the 8 level, which is the uh, severe G4 class storm. Seen uh, auroras down in Oregon, Idaho, northern tier states, Colorado, all over the place. So uh, that's pretty awesome and also unexpected. Right now, things are much calmer with KP index. Uh, Barely reaching, it looks like, into the, uh, well, this is the 4 level right here, but the most recent updated level looks to be around the 2 or 3 indicated there on the 3-hour map. And uh, notice the aurora forecast here, much more minimal tonight compared to last night. Only a very slight chance up here into the higher latitudes around Alaska, Canada. Um, looks like maybe Greenland as well, L slight southern end here of Greenland. And Iceland area getting in on a possibility. As far as solar flare activity goes, uh, well, starting to pick up here a little bit around this center portion of this regional sunspot area. Notice the uh, red and the blue here getting all intermingled within the magnetic structure. It's about uh, it's about the only main area to watch, although on the north western edge up here of the sun we're getting a little new development as well so these things come and go looks like they are in the development stage which can trigger uh, some solar flaring right now a 90 percent chance of a c flare m flare at 10 percent chance x flare around one percent or so but uh yeah goodness no major expected events coming up for now all right uh, far as the weather activity goes well Let's look at the current weather out here in the south. <clears throat> uh, they have seen quite a bit of damage out here <coughs> in the region. And uh, again, I heard a lot of these folks out here do not have underground shelters, unfortunately. It is a very wooded area throughout Mississippi and stuff like that. That's why I don't really like going down there uh, to observe weather because it can be awfully dangerous uh we do have this line of storms headed towards the jackson area <coughs> excuse me mississippi and um it's a lengthy line look at that stretches all the way up into tennessee there we go a little bit blockage here of the uh, microphone might help a little bit just picked up a cough out of the blue um so yes uh, weather activity definitely uh jackson mississippi area Heads up, this line looks like it's headed towards your region. Um, looking at the next couple days or so, we'll see what this uh, forecast kind of calls here with the GFS model. This line right here is going to continue to scoot off to the northeast. Behind that, looks like some more possible uh, activity. <coughs> Goodness, all right. I better jump off here before this cough comes back majorly. But uh, West Coast, check it out. We got a major uh, storm coming back up here on Monday and Tuesday to bring us another good shot of rainfall and much needed snow into the mountains. All right. Have a good night, folks. I'm going to jump off here. Goodness. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on. Have a good one.